The squid, a member of the cephalopod class, is a strong swimming carnivore bolstering a large head or mantle, eight arms, two tentacles, and three hearts. Unlike the majority of mollusks, squids don't have an external shell. Instead, they have an internal shell which supports the movement of the body. Squid are also covered in chromatophores, which allow them to change colors and camouflage themselves from potential threats as seen in this video. But this camouflage may not be of use in open water, forcing the squid to find different means of escaping harm from other underwater predators. At this point, the squid turns to jet propulsion. Some squids using jet propulsion have been clocked at up to 20 miles per hour, making the squid the fastest of all known invertebrates. Sucking water into a mantle comprised of elastic muscle fibers, the squid can then clench the fibers and expel the water through its funnel to propel itself. The ability to rotate the funnel radially allows the squid to move in any direction. While the squid is propelling itself, it will also tighten its limbs and tentacles closer to its body in order to become more aerodynamic. Here is a simplified version of the propulsion process. This process is similar to a balloon full of air being released. When we assume that Z1 equals Z2, the water in the mantle is stationary, and also that the pressure at the funnel is zero, we are able to take an otherwise long Bernoulli's equation and simplify it down to the following form. From this form, we know that the pressure within the mantle is directly proportional to the velocity of the water exiting the funnel. Thus, when the squid squeezes and applies added pressure, the water will exit faster. When analyzing the flow of the water out of the squid, it is necessary to understand how water flows through a pipe. If we make the safe assumption that the water exits out of a body part that is shaped like a pipe, then the water flows as shown in the image below. As the water enters the pipe, it moves with a uniform velocity. As the water moves through the pipe, viscous effects cause the water particles to stick to the walls of the pipe in a phenomenon known as the no-slip boundary condition. This phenomenon is dependent on something called the Reynolds number of the fluid and the diameter of the pipe. The fluid continues to develop along some entrance length LE. The fluid continues to develop as more and more fluid particles stick to the walls of the pipe. Once the water moves past the entrance region, the velocity profile becomes fully developed. As long as there are no bends or changes in the diameter of the tube, the water will continue to flow in this way until the water leaves the body part of the squid. Unfortunately for us, the analysis of the squid propelling water out of its body is not so simple. In the previous slide, we assumed the flow through the pipe is steady. In reality, the flow of the water out of the squid is unsteady, which means the velocity of each water particle changes with time. Unsteady flow is extremely difficult to model and investigate experimentally, which is often why we assume steady flow. Sandy Plank and someone. He called. He said it was called a uh, a butt. Oh, wow, that's a pretty big butt. Oh, look at me! I'm gonna go touch the butt. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs>